They have to pair with something. Oh, you're right. Yes. I ain't eating it. Then knock something over. I'll cut. Most things that we plan aren't gonna happen correctly. We're Hannah and Trey, and we're probably lost. In December of 2021, we sold nearly all of our belongings to travel the world and only bring the items we could carry with us. We decided to document our experiences and started off the trip celebrating New Year's Eve in Madrid, Spain. We have been traveling throughout the southern region of Andalusia, which brought us to the city of Seville. Now that we have experienced a portion of the culture here in Spain, we decided to create our own tapas tour, highlighting some of the specialties here in Seville. Come along as we put our taste buds to the ultimate test. We're all cleaned up and heading to El Rinconcillo. It's a really old tapas bar. It's like the oldest bar in Seville. And we're gonna get some tapas. We're going to like five different restaurants because tapas are like two euro 50 each. They're super cheap and you can go to a lot of places. And get a, lot a lot of different, different places. Food. Yeah, I don't know if you just noticed me look over, but that just scared me to death. The tapas are a huge part of culture in Spain and especially in Seville. So we're gonna go and take part. And also have a little bit of fun. Try some new things and make Trey try some new things. I'm a very picky eater, so this could be a little bit dicey. Could be really good or really bad. <laughs> We found out that tapas are only served at the bar, so we made a mistake by <laughs> sitting at a table, but we'll make this quick. We knew we were gonna get charcuterie here anyway. So this is the cured Iberian pork loin and milk cheese. These aren't tapas, so we're gonna spend a little bit more than we're planning. I feel like this is very typical Hannah and Trey though. I asked for a table in Spanish and I was, yes, I got it. And then we get sat at the table and got not where we're supposed to be. We also got local reds from here in Seville. Very, very good. These little crunchy things, they have to pair with something. I haven't figured out what to go with though yet. Cheese, very good. The Iberian ham, it's so good. Probably my favorite thing that we've had so far in Spain. This is much thicker than the stuff that I've been getting. So by far, this is the best Iberian ham that I've had. All right, so the last place was definitely a learning moment. We essentially had tapas, they were just expensive tapas. Completely opposite of what this video is. So if anything, I guess we've shown you what not to do. Now we'll show you ideally what to do, but don't take us for our word because we could totally screw it up all over again. <laughs> This is vino de naranja, which is the orange wine that they're famous for. It's very sweet. Oh my gosh, it smells like orange. Is it good? <laughs> it's very sweet. It tastes like orange? Yeah, a little bit. Naranja is orange, right? Yes. Excellent. This is the migas con chorizo. And this is the pringa casera. In this region, everyone kind of has their own. Basically, it's multiple slow roasted meats put on a sandwich. So, kind of reminds me of like a really good sloppy Joe. I gotta be honest, it, it looks kind of like potatoes, but I'm not totally sure what it is. I'll just wing it. That is so good. I have no idea. <laughs> it's some breading. This is all carbs, every bit of it. This is definitely what we were looking forward to. Very minimal seating, a lot of outdoor life of just some guy outside singing and clapping his hands. It's just, it's more our vibe. All right, on to the next place. Okay, we're in Casa Morales, and this place is super duper old. Hello! Hi! Welcome in Sevilla! <laughs> it's a sherry medium, not dry, okay? <laughs> it's medium, not dry in this way, see? Okay, For okay. For so we thought this was wine. Turns out, sherry, we got the medium. This smells like whiskey. <laughs> 
it's super light and smooth. I don't think Hannah's gonna particularly love it, but I like it. I think it's okay. With potato fry, it's a sauteing grilled with garlic cream. Okay. It's, it's his bread with olives and oregano. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. It's like a pork shoulder kind of thing. That's good. That's really good. Like, not Nothing's great. been bad. This is all so good. It tastes like pot roast. It's really good. So these are old jars that they used to store all of the white wine in. Specifically white wine is super great waiter told us. Shout out. I'm gonna put him up here. He's super great. Give us all of the tips and all of the history of this place. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, our final destination is Bodeguita Romero. We're gonna try and get the shrimp tortillas. More carbs. I am so full. <laughs> so Trey picked out prior what he wanted to order here because he specifically wanted to try these two things. And I think I've identified them on the Spanish menu because they don't have an English menu, trusting my very limited Spanish skills. So we'll see if we order the right thing. <laughs> So this is the Retinto Meatballs. I mean, it's, it's good. It's not the best thing that I've had tonight, but it's good. And this is the shrimp tortilla. I can smell the shrimp. So I'm gonna cleanse the old palate with this red wine. I have no idea what to expect. So when I was a kid, Captain D's, and I don't know if they still have it, but my dad, I'm sorry dad, I love it. But you used to love the little box of cracklings. This tastes like the cracklings. Obviously high-end crackling, but that's kind of what it tastes like. Okay, we made it. Four different restaurants, doing our own little tapas tour. Obviously it wasn't perfect, but it was a ton of fun. It was a little more than we'd ever spend on a normal meal. If we had paid for a real tapas tour, it would have been 70 bucks each. So like 140 USD. In total tonight, we probably spent, it's about 50 euros. So still less than the price of one of us to do an actual legit tour. But it was a ton of fun. These places are so cool. Each place is super unique. We didn't really know what to expect and we didn't really know what we were doing either. But we've had such a great experience with people at the restaurant. The nightlife really started to come out past 10 o'clock. 17 minute walk back to the Airbnb. This is gonna be such a struggle. All right, battery died. What a night for a tapas tour. And it is only it a Thursday. It was really fun. So, it was only Thursday. <laughs> yeah, it's not even a weekend. Seville's awesome, beautiful city, great food, amazing people. Next time you see us, we'll be doing a tour of some of the most famous places here in Seville. Follow along, like, subscribe if you have any recommendations on what sh we Please should do, what we did wrong, what we did right, what you liked, what you didn't. Go down in the comment section and let us know. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Most things that we plan aren't gonna happen correctly. Whoa!